Copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. That's one of my favourite lines from the Apollo landings. Mission Control finally able to breathe again. They were holding their breath because they were getting within seconds of having to abort due to fuel. A low fuel alert had been triggered and that started a 94 second countdown. Low level? Low level. And this is indelibly part of the story of Apollo 11. In addition to the computer alarms and Neil having to pick a different landing site at the last minute, they were 17 seconds away from having to go home. But the thing is, that low fuel alert was a false alarm. Looking at the flight afterwards, the engineers realized it had come on too early and they had much more fuel to spare. The problem was that as the spacecraft moved around, the fuel sloshed around inside the tank and temporarily exposed the low level sensor. And so after some experiments, they developed some new baffles for these tanks which would suppress this slosh and make the readings good. Now, this was easy to fit for Apollos 15 through 17, because the fuel tanks were still being built, but for Apollo 14, they really didn't want to have to open up the propellant tanks to install this baffle. So the engineers developed a version which would fit through a 6 cm, 2.5 inch hole in the bottom of the tank. Once inserted, it could fold out, and then an engineer would have to weld it into place inside the tank using only that small access hole. You might have heard of rocket surgery, well this is rocket keyhole surgery.